Welcome to Comsol. 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 Compensation Solutions. Comsol is a debtors financing house that provides short-term finance or working capital to medical service providers treating injury on duty patients. The medical service providers might be any uh, discipline in the medical fraternity that is involved in treating any injury on duty patients. We've built this company on, on faith and we've built this company on integrity. And it runs as a seam right through the business. Compasol is based in Port Elizabeth. That's where the head office is and the, the centre of the operations. It is a national company and we represent it right around South Africa. This is our reception area. This is our canteen, the operations department, relay department. This is the marketing department, logistics department. This is the main man. There is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fritz Dodeur. An injury on duty is when somebody that's defined in terms of the act as an employee gets injured at work or contracts a work-related disease. They then have to go to a medical service provider, a GP normally, that will treat them. The employer, in terms of the act, needs to pay a premium to the compensation fund, like any short-term insurance. That premium will then ensure that the employer is not liable for the medical expense of the treatment. There was a, a demand in the market for these guys to, to get paid for their services uh, and the, the compensation fund, were, they were not really able with the uh, processes they had and the, and the systems they used to, to uh, handle the volumes. The compensation fund is established under the Department of Labour specifically operates in terms of the Compensation for Occupational Injuries and Diseases Act. The injury on duty process is quite complex. It's governed by an act and there's regulations and there's tariffs that get published every year. The inefficiencies of the fund led to many service providers being reluctant to do uh, or treat injured on duty employers, employees. Many of the service providers out there have to wait more than a year before their medical accounts will actually be paid. And as you can imagine, doctors have expenses. They've got salaries, they've got rent, they've got telephones, they've got, in many cases, prosthesis that they have to purchase. And that's exactly where the need arose for us to stand between the medical service providers and the compensation fund where we will provide the short term or the pre-funding for the medical practices while we're waiting to get paid by the compensation fund. Initially when we start out um, with the few people we had, uh, it was basically one department and everybody doing a little bit of everything. Obviously we've grown into a corporate type of structure. My name is Zingisa Mavuso. I am a supervisor at Comsol. I'll be taking you upstairs to give you a sneak of what we get up to, of what more than 200 employees get up to on a daily basis. This is the operations department of Comsol. This is where the teams are situated. We call them the geographical teams. Our operations, I would say, is probably the, the engine of the organisation. That's where the claims get processed, where all the paperwork gets uh, processed uh, and, and checked and assessed and payment takes place. They service many different service providers in all the nine provinces. A team comprises of a supervisor, an account administrator, a team admin assistant, a prepping clerk. All those people work together as a team to pre-fund our accounts from the medical service providers. At the moment, for the majority of injury on duty cases in South Africa, it's a very much manual paper-based system.
This is the logistics department. It also forms part of the operations team. This is where the physical paperwork comes in. The main core functions of logistics are to scan as well as submissions. Everyone who has got access to CAP, our in-house program, has to have access to the documents or to the images. In order for them to have access, logistics has got to scan. There are three main scanners in this department which are in operation eight hours of the day. When they scan, it's not a matter of that pushing the paper in. They have got to make sure that their accounts are clear, they are legible, the documents are clear, everything that is written on the documents, it can be read. The old paper-based system, usually we had to wait for all the paperwork to come in. Uh, once the paperwork came in, we could collate a batch and then start the validation process. We could go through the paperwork, make sure everything is there. When an injury occurs in the workplace, the employer is obliged to fill out a WCL2, which is the employer's report of the accident. The medical service provider, after treating the patient, fills out a WCL4, which is a first medical report. The fund then ends up receiving numerous documents for the same injury at different times. The paper lies all over the place and people end up scurrying around inside the compensation fund offices looking for the different pieces of paper in a particular um, injury to try and get them into the file. What we do is to collate all the documentation pertaining to one particular claim from all the different service providers and submit that what we call as a folder to the fund. The fund itself or its management up to now has failed to appreciate Comsol's contribution which is no, can be enormous, could almost resolve the country's problems. Technology these days, you, you can't have a successful business un, unless you have a successful uh, information technology team. Uh, we've got a, a group of 12 IT uh, um, guys in our development department who develops daily. Currently they um, are busy developing our e system. Equido is it's an integrated paperless solution um, to the injury on duty market. It's an in-house developed product. Doctors, uh, employers, employees are able to talk to each other uh, on a web-based format. In other words, the employers, the medical service providers and the compensation fund all come through the same web portal onto the same database working on the same incidents dealing with the same accounts and the same supporting documentation. It, it would be the first uh, totally integrated uh, software system developed and uh, we're very proud of that system and we believe it will change the way in which uh, future IODs will be handled in the, in the country. Data is entered into the system only once. No more typing errors, no more date errors, no more tariff errors, no duplications no copying of unnecessary documentation to send to anybody who doesn't uh, belong to the system. We've also made it a, a management program for the employer. Uh, you know, they can manage the IOD, look at the occupational health and safety. They can get stats off the system. So it's, it's more than just a, a flow of documents, uh, electronic documents. It's actually a management tool for the employer and also for the service provider. Let's take a worker falling off a ladder on a construction site. The employer already using our e system will immediately log on to the e website to register the injury and fill in all the important initial details. Through using the e system, the employer can select which treating service provider he would like to use and arrangements can then be made to send the injured worker through to that doctor. Once the doctor has treated the patient, he will immediately complete his first medical report on the ECOIDA system. His admin staff can also use the ECOIDA system to generate the account for the first patient visit. The operation staff at Comsol will then be in a position to evaluate and assess the claim put forward by the doctor for payment. And once completed, submission will be made to the compensation fund on those claims. This is the same work that used to be dumped at the compensation fund. 
Um, it doesn't excuse the fund from their responsibilities, but you can imagine uh, being supplied with information or, or data or accounts that's uh, incomplete. They don't have the infrastructure at the fund to deal with all of that and supply training in the market. And that's something that, that would probably never happen. Because you see, the fund represents government. And government, as you know, has relations with so many countries and some of which possibly yearn for such a system. The people inside there tend to think that they are in charge. It's not government uh, as government. It is specific individuals who are right down there. But those individuals, we call them bureaucrats. If you find yourself in a situation where a bureaucrat, for one reason or another, doesn't like you, easy for them because they can easily make and easily break. So I think once the realization comes that this tool is there to actually enrich the fund uh, in going forward, um, and at the end of the day to help the, the patients, which are the employees, um, to get rehabilitated a lot quicker, um, that should be the main goal uh, for all parties involved. Mm -hmm.